Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a very special display. Watch this thing here, very thin and lightweight, very wide. And there's of course a reason why it is so wide. It's 1920 by 720. It's 12.3 inches and it fits perfectly, for example, for the AIDA 64 hardware and CPU monitoring program. It can be used with the included mini HDMI cable, but can also be used with USB-C. We can even use it with a 10-point touch screen function. It comes with all the needed accessories, especially all the different cables and even a suitable stand, of course. So super interesting, especially if you have a high-end PC and you want to have just a look at what's going on inside of your computer then you don't need a super large screen, that's enough, that's actually perfect. It won't need a full-size monitor space on your desk and also it will consume less power. So super interesting for hardware CPU monitoring. So I'm going to show you everything what you get, how to set it up, how you can use it. So stay tuned to the very end of the video. And so here's the packaging. So let's open, see what we get, comes nicely protected. Also all the way around, this is exactly what we want to see. And so here we have it, comes even with more protection here in the front. Yeah, watch this thing, it's an absolute beauty. Here we have the different ports, two times USB-C, one of them full featured and then mini HDMI. And here the full control, even audio or headphone output. And then the accessories underneath, and that's definitely a lot. Comes with this really nice stand, full size HDMI to mini HDMI cable, and two times USB A to modern USB C for power and data, and even USB C to USB C if that's available on your computer. And we get even a power supply in case you don't have already one and comes also with a large user manual in different languages, everything nicely explained. But it's actually very easy to use and I'm going to show you that anyway. The display is super flexible on how we can mount it. It comes with this VESA mount, but you can also use the standard quarter inch tripod mount. So for example like that would be also a great solution if you want to have it a little bit elevated. But it comes also with this very helpful stand. We can just pull it out like that and then set the monitor on top of it and secure it with the screws here in the back. Really nice option as well. And so we have basically two different options on how to connect it. The first option is with a full function USB-C to USB-C. And for that we have to use the full function USB-C port here on the display. And we also have to use a USB-C to C cable which is supporting monitor. And of course also on your computer you have to have a USB-C port which is supporting monitor output. But a lot of devices are supporting that, even some Android devices. And so I've plugged the cable already here in and I plug it in also here. You can see what's going to happen. I don't do anything. It's going to power this monitor and at the same time it's replicating the monitor from the laptop. But of course, depending on your device, we have all the standard options. So we can use it as a duplicate display as here or we can use it as an extended display or we can use it as a separate display. Also, of course, important that we have it on the right side. So here we have it on the left and here it's on the right side. So we can just drag and drop it here to the left side and confirm. And so I can move my mouse cursor to the left side and back to the main screen. But of course, that's not the only option how to connect it. We have also the option to use HDMI and especially in combination with USB-A to USB-C. So we can then also use the touch screen. And so I have done this and worked also plug and play. Here we have full size HDMI to mini HDMI. And on the right side we have USB-A because I don't have USB-A here and USB-C here. And because it's a long distance, I've been using another USB-A to C cable and works also right away. And we can see it works also with the touch screen. Absolutely no problem. And so we can use, for example, here the AIDA 64 Extreme. And so instead of blocking most of the screen here, we can just pull it here on the left side. 
make it larger because it identifies the correct size on its own. And so I have the full overview here on the side. So we have the full information control here on the left side and the full screen here free for gaming or whatever I want to do. And if I need more information, I can just touch here. Absolutely awesome. So I don't even have to use the mouse. I can fully focus on the main screen. And on top of everything, we have even the control function, control buttons here on the right side. So for example, the menu. So we can adjust a ton of stuff here. We can control everything here with these buttons. Of course, that's too much to show you everything. Maybe here the advanced settings. You can see how detailed we can do the adjustment here. And what's super cool is that we have even two buttons for direct access. So this button we can use to increase the brightness. So if you're in a difficult situation, maybe you're doing presentation to other people, you need more brightness, then that's the button to go. And down here we have the direct button to decrease the volume. So I definitely love this display. Can be super, super helpful. Works right out of the box. No special configuration needed. We have so many options. Seems to be very good quality, even very good readability, even in a really bright environment like here. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.